<laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the special live with Dr. Dane here. Welcome, Dane. Thank you, Miss Emily. How are you doing? Wonderful. And sorry, we were a few minutes late. If you have been refreshing the page or are still refreshing and joining, <laughs> it takes a little bit technology today. Oh, technology today is, I tell you, it's, 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 wow. It's wow. Hey, before it's, we start our live, you were just on another Facebook live. Yes. Which you might as well tell people about so they can go find the replay. Oh, it was beautiful. It was in the Earth Wizards group, which is open to anyone after request. Um, but we are doing 24 hours. I was the kickoff and we're doing 24 hours of uh, processing that allows us to create a different space. And this is going on 24 hours around the world. There's 48 different sessions and we have this list of processes and access consciousness processing in addition to bars is something that you can use to change any specific area into something greater. So it was beautiful. It was such a great gift to participate in. Cool. So if you guys missed that or you're not in the Earth Wizards group or you want to catch the replay, just go to Facebook after this is over and search Earth Wizards and join the group if you haven't, but you can get the replay there. And then I get to do another Facebook Live with you. Yay. About what you just mentioned, bars, access bars. Um, yay. Yay. <laughs> yay. Bars is the best. It's the best in the whole wide world. It's the best. <laughs> How? Okay. So let's. People, new people finding this. I know a lot of people on. Hello, everyone. Thank you for your comments. Hi. Um, might know about Access Bars, but what if you could describe what Access Bars is? And, you know, we titled this live the easiest way to speak space. 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 <laughs> space. 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 Possibilities. Yes. Can you talk about Access Bars and how you would describe it or how you use it to get yeah. there. Yeah. Um... It literally saved my life 21 years ago. And I was at a point where I'd been struggling for years and I was starting my second chiropractic practice and that was stressing me out. And I felt like I wasn't able to contribute anything to people. And I just, I was so down on myself and I had tried so many things. I'd gone to so many weekend workshops where I feel like I would have the answer. And then three days later, the universe would cave in on my head again and there I was back to square one. And so I'd basically given up and I'd given the universe six months. I said, either my life truly changes or I'm out of here. And um, then I came across an ad for bars and I went and I had a session and, or she came to my office and I had a session there and it changed the space around me and within me and within my body. It was, it was so amazing to have that level of change occur in an hour and 15 minutes. And I knew I was never going to go back to that dark, dark place again. And, you know, at, she put her hands on my head and I was like, oh, that's cool. I started relaxing a little bit and then relaxing more and relaxing more. And then there was this energy of this peace and ease. And I was like, oh, my God, I haven't felt this in years. I don't know if I'd ever felt it. Um, and so it was just such a gift to have something that I didn't know what it was. I didn't know how to explain it. I didn't know. I didn't know what it was at all. Thank goodness. Cause I couldn't think my way through it or out of it. And, um, it just, it changed my friggin' world. It rocked my world. It, it truly did change my life. And from that point forward, I knew there was something different possible. Because there's there's two kinds of change. There's one where you're like, oh, I think I changed it. And then there's one where you're like, holy shit, everything is different. <laughs> this was a holy shit, everything is different. And goodness, what a gift. Hey, can I ask you, because one of the things, a session can be so different for different people. And you have this story where you went from really wanting to kill yourself to this completely different space. And I know I myself had had clients too, that afterwards they're like, okay. Well, you know, I didn't feel that. Or can you explain, like, is it about feeling it? Is it the same for everyone? Why is it? Why? Like, it's so no, good. it's definitely not the same for everyone. You know, apparently I was meant to do this in the world. So I had to get something that was like, you can't, you, you 
can't doubt it, dude. Um, and I've had several experiences with access tools that are like that, where I'm like, okay, I won't, I, this, this is actually happening because we're, we're so easily prone to doubting ourselves, but also anything that we do. And there's so much stuff that we've done, at least with so many of the people that I've worked with there, there's so many things that they've done that really didn't do much, but they promised a lot, you know? And so with bars, it's not about feeling it necessarily while you're getting it, but it may be, it's more about, there's this subtle space. It, it's subtle and not so subtle, but initially it can be sort of subtle that you actually start to have a sense of more ease with things, like more ease navigating the world. It feels less contracted, less, less um, compressed. And, you know, you walk around the world and you're like, wow, I just, I'm just, I'm different walking around the world. Yeah. And so that's what I see as sort of the, the, the common theme is people start to have a sense of more peace more space and then what happens is they just show up in their life different and there are a lot of people who are like oh my goodness i'm so relaxed or a lot of people go to i'm so tired i must go to sleep and it's like are you tired or relaxed because we don't have a reference point for being relaxed on this planet it's the most bizarre thing you know when do we get to relax um when i'm so tired i can't move anymore okay but that's that's not relaxation that's exhaustion okay <laughs> And so what bars does is it creates a space for you. It's just really beautiful. Well, I was going to say the bar snore during a session is one oh, of my yeah. favorite snores you will hear. If, if you haven't had so your bars true. Run, or run someone's bars, you know, I got to interview mm -hmm. you. Um, you had a being you changing the world class in December. And we filmed some awesome videos with you and Gary Douglas that will premiere this Saturday at Global Access Bars Day. Um, and there was just some beautiful, and we also interviewed some of the participants that were at your class. And there were a couple people, but this beautiful man, Arthur, who, who um, his video will be shown on the day too, but he said his whole life, he's like, I'd never slept. He's like, I was such an insomniac and could never sleep like, at all. He said his first bar session, within a minute, he was snoring and out and he'd never had that experience. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. And the funny part is, bars is the only thing I've ever done where there's this experience like Sue said, they're yeah. not asleep, you know, where everybody like, says they're not asleep. You're like, <laughs> yeah, you were snoring. Um, and there's this experience of you're there and you are aware of everything in the room and you even hear yourself snoring sometimes. Yeah. You know, I've, I've never had that with anything else where it's like, truly your body goes to sleep. Your body gets to relax. Your being is still there and present. And although many times it is just seeming like sleep, right? But I I, I didn't know that was possible. And so, yeah, it's an interesting thing. I like yeah. this. Well, bars help me get my shit together. Uh, <laughs> well, it could. I love could. that question. Yeah. Very honest question. Thank you. And a lot of the getting your shit together part is so much based on the judgments that other people have had of you that most of us wouldn't really even know what getting our own shit together would be. But <laughs> bars helps you get out of judgment of you. It, and it also helps you break that monkey mind cycle, which is, which is so helpful. And, and it also, it introduces you to this thing called space. Because you as a being... In Access, our point of view is you're an infinite being. But if you know anything about what the word infinite means, that's really friggin' big, which means you're a lot of space. And in fact, we would say that, you know, rather than just being your body, you're actually more like the consciousness of your body, the space between the molecules that brings your body together. And so BARS was one of the first introductions to being space for me. Um, and it was like, wow. It's just, it was, I can't explain it. That's the thing of, you know, it's like if you had a, I don't know, a Kundalini experience or something or a, a whatever kind of experience one might have and you try to put it into words. I mean, people write books about that shit and still 
every there's so many people I have heard about who wrote books like that who said I did my best to put this into words but it is not describable with words bars had that same effect and and it just created more ease and more peace but from there if you're looking to get your shit together when you have more ease and more peace and more space you can see where your shit is actually located rather than where you thought it was and I, i like how pia said this no matter what's going on in the world, like we all have stuff, family, work, it doesn't control her after a session. You're not at the effect of it. That's a good way to describe the space of access bars too. It's beautiful. I love that. And that's, that's a really good point because the whole point of access is to live and live in the world, be in the world, but not of the world. And that's what it does is in, The weird part is it's one other thing that's very challenging to explain is to explain to other people how you're having ease, even though the world looks like it's going to hell in a handbasket. And you're like, no, I'm good. I'm having a good time. (laughs) But yeah, I get my bars run often and I use access consciousness tools and I use access consciousness processes. And that's really what it's about is living and living with a sense of ease and joy and actually liking being alive. I mean, look at how many people on this planet don't like being alive, but they do it day after day, which is, it's like, hats off to you for your courage, you know, and your willingness. And what if it could be easier? Well, and you've often said that after getting your bars run and using the tools, like a lot of the access consciousness tools, you can become a walking, talking meditation. So that (laughs) that space is with you all the time. And I know years ago, you know, we've had several different, we've had research done on the bars. And I know years ago um, when you got, you and Gary were in, what was that called? The secret knock? Oh yeah. And you guys can find the video on YouTube um, where you have Dr. Finn explaining, but he's someone who'd worked with a lot of people who meditated all the time and was like dumbfounded the first brain scans he did of people getting their bars where he said, I've only seen this in people that have been meditating for like 20 years. And I, I just, yeah. Yeah. And it was, I mean, it was amazing being at that conference because he didn't even want to study. He's like, no, I got all kinds of people here that I'm supposed to do scans on. And this lady that we knew at the time, she said, you need to do this. Trust me. And he went, okay, fine. And it wasn't me and Gary that ran this person's bars. Right. It was, and, and I think it was two sessions that he studied, but he <clears throat> hadn't processed the data. And so he, he went out with his team the night before, you know, and they partied or whatever. He woke up at five in the morning to process the data. And he called them at 530 and said, you all need to get over here now. I have never seen anything like this, except <laughs> in people who meditate for 20 years. This was an hour long session and it was by somebody who had learned the bars, sweet lady out in California. And, and he put, did this presentation that I was like, and it was so great because he had just proven with neuroscience and with brainwave studies, what we've known ever since bars has been in existence. It activates the brainwaves that create more sense of connection with the universe and more gratitude for everything. It activates the brainwaves for creativity and it activates the brainwaves for relaxation and de-stress. And it's like, uh, yeah, we've been saying that for 30 years now, you know. But But it's funny to see him confounded by that increase in creativity and the increase in relaxation because he's like, those both go up together usually. Right. It's one or the other. Yeah. Normally you get one or the other. You get relaxed or you get creative. Bars is you get relaxed creativity, which I consider being in the zone. You know, a lot of people talk about being in the zone and it's like, that's, that for me is, that's what I consider being in the zone. Yeah. That's a beautiful way to say that. (laughs) So what else, Dane, would you like, are there any other tools or tips or something you'd like to, for people that, you know, I love the question of, well, help me get my shit together. (laughs) Like, Yeah, yeah, this all sounds great. And you know, like in the trenches, how do you use bars? How do you use some of the other tools? Maybe that people could. Well, you can um, actually run your own. You can, it's not as effective as somebody else doing it on you because one of the other things bars opens you up to is this terrible thing called receiving. Mm. And most people don't do that very well. So, um, but you could have, um, that's, that's one. 
But the other one is the other tools of access are it's like they work in the moment to create change. And one of the biggest ones is who does all this shit belong to? Because we live in a world where people bitches be crazy. Let's face it. All right. It's like there's a bunch of crazy people in the world. You know, it's like. And so the thing about that is the ability to recognize how aware you are energetically is essential to begin to have ease mm -hmm. and to get your shit together. You know, I mentioned a lot of I need to get my shit together is a lot of other people's judgments about all of your shit that may not be your point of view. But we have this tool. Who does this belong to? And if you ask and whatever you're experiencing lightens up at all, it's not yours. And um, we even have a free app for it, you know, and uh, it's wonderful. And that idea of walking around like you're in a walking, talking meditation, bars plus who does this belong to created that for me and also for a lot of other people. Um, and I see a comment of somebody who said, you know, people are expecting their whole life to change. That people expect to have their life change with one bar session, like the stories we hear. Does that depend on the receiving of the person? Yeah, it's like the universe has an impeccable sense of timing. And I'm really glad you asked because I tell my story because it's my story. You know, it's what occurred for me. It's my experience. And and I don't want people to think they're going to get the same thing because each of us is unique. And you have to look at it. I was at a place where I was ready to receive it. I had given up on everything. I was done. In other words, I was a blank slate other than the suffering that kept jumping up and down on my slate. Um, you know, I was a blank slate as far as I'm willing to let anything go at this point. <laughs> and including my life, uh, I had nothing that I was needing to hold on to because the limitation on our receiving is really the things that we are committed to holding on to that we think will go away or change in a bad way if we have this change. If we didn't have points of view like that, we could receive tremendous change from every bar session we get. And so like some people, and, and most of that is not cognitive though, which is part of the reason we have the access consciousness tools of asking questions and processing, which is designed to undo the non-cognitive limitations that are sticking you in any area of your life. And so, you know, some people are like, well, um, if I actually get over it and I get happy, well, then this person, this person, this person won't contribute to me anymore. Or they'll think I'll be, <clears throat> they'll think I was faking it. So they'll be in judgment of me or they'll make me wrong. Or we have the weirdest points of view. And also we have to realize that, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, that's been present since the earth wizard zoom I just did. Um, <laughs> you changing. <laughs> seriously. Um, or non-seriously, as the case may be. Um, and people don't realize it also. One of the big things that they're holding in place is their relationships to other people and things in their life. And they require them to be a certain way. And it's it's an interesting thing because, you know, if if you were married to somebody, for example, and, you know, you two are total vegetarians, you know, you're vegan and you have that in common and and you don't drink and you're like, yeah, okay, this is our thing. We create relationships based on those common things. But then if you came home one day and went, wow, you know what? I love steak and French fries and beer. And I'm happier than I've ever been before. So I'm going in this direction. What would your relationship do? That person would look at you and go, wait a minute. Now <laughs> at that point, they would have choice. You know, they would have choice to go, well, you get away from me. You broke the covenant of our relationship that we were going to be the same in these areas. Or they could go, whoa, what made you choose that? That's interesting. Can I live with this? You know, they have choice at that point. But we keep trying to function in a way that makes it so the people and things in our life don't have the choice except the choice we think they should make. Well, bars also starts to change that. And you start to go, okay, he's okay. 
because when you have space for you, you don't be, you know, harping on other people, you know, you don't be trying to bring people down, you know, it's like when you have space for you, you like to see other people have space and you realize that it also contributes to you having more space. So you don't have so many requirements and judgments and projections and expectations of them. And that's also part of what bars creates, but it also creates not having as many projections, expectations, et cetera, of yourself. Yeah. Which is so much kinder. And you, you had a, you had an ESB class this weekend and one of my favorite memes quotes <laughs> by you from that class was in true, in true caring, it, you don't require another person. There's no upset from what someone else is, chooses. Yeah. Your choice. Like you really empower them to choose. And I posted that quote somewhere and there's so many questions about what does that mean? How does that, you know, and it's, um, and it was interesting because that was such a beautiful way to talk about caring in the space that bars does when you don't have projections and needs and expectations, of other people, like everyone gets to have choice. Yeah. And it's, it's an amazing, that also allows more space. And it is, it's such an amazing sense of space and spaciousness. It's, and, and to be that way, I think, at least from my weird point of view, but I'm weird. What do I know? I'm, I'm a friggin' alien. I don't know how I landed on this planet, but <laughs> from my point of view, that is something that we actually desire for other people when we're being us. We actually like them having space, giving them space, giving them choice. You know, none of us, and we've all learned to do it to a certain extent, but none of us likes to try to control others and be their mommy. You know, it's like, that's, that's not why we're here. It's not why we started a relationship. Although, although some people do, you know, they perpetrate the relationship their parents had with them, et cetera. But I think we really shine as the greatness of us when we're truly in allowance of what our partner chooses and when we empower them to choose and, and don't make them wrong when they do. Yeah. And there's a lot you mentioned, like one of the things you can do is receive a bar session. And I see several people asking, um, can I do it online? Can I do it on myself? And, and can you speak a little bit? So bars is a body process. Like if you've taken the class and you know how to run bars and you have no one around, it is wonderful. You can run your own bars and it takes the edge off but it's truly meant like to be received from another person and what our bodies um, receive and gift each other in a session. Do you want to talk a little bit about that? Cause it's very different. Well, yeah, there's, it's interesting because um, that idea, you know, what I just spoke about, about relationship has a parallel here too, where it's like our number one, our bodies love to receive. And they get so little of it. You know, some people, a small percentage of the population might go for a massage every now and then, or they go and get their spa day or whatever. And, and, but most people don't truly receive very much with their body. They, and therefore they also don't see their body as, as a gift because they're not using it for what the gift was designed for. You know, it's like, you get a you get a gift of a blender and you try to make toast with it you'd be frustrated with the blender you know it's like the same thing we're doing with our bodies we have this gift of of sensory awareness this gift of of contribution this gift of a sense of connection and yet we're not using it that way and and i say you know using it in the way it was intended and also the other thing that is so wonderful, so, sorry, my ADHD. Um, so what BARS does is BARS starts to open that up for us and our bodies. And we start to see our bodies in a different light a lot of times also. And the other thing, though, about BARS that you talked about is the gifting. Yeah. The way the rest of the universe works, the way the natural world works, let's say, is a simultaneity of gifting and receiving. As you gift, so shall you receive. Like, really... If you've ever thought about a gift and gotten one for somebody and you've given it to them and they totally received it and they had such gratitude, it just brought you to tears, it brought them to tears and you were both made greater. Well, that's not give and take, which is how this reality functions. That's a simultaneity of gifting and receiving. And you've got to be willing to be the gift in order to receive. And bars somehow 
bridges the gap because so many of us can't even consider the possibility that we could be a gift. And so <clears throat> it also in gifting to someone else and perceiving the sense of space they get, perceiving the sense of relaxation, perceiving the ease is so beautiful. And in that you recognize, wow, I did this. I did this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I use this tool called bars, but I did, I gifted to someone and I didn't have to buy it. It was like my being gifted something to this being. My body gifted something to this body. So my being and body gifted something to this being and body. And what do you get from that? You get an awareness that you're a gift. And plus the space that gets created between you. And I say again, there's no frigging way to describe it. I wish I could. I wish I could describe the space that bars creates, but you got to experience it to experience it. You know, it's like, let me describe orgasm to you. Uh, well, uh, you know, it's like, if I were more of a poet, maybe I could describe bars and orgasm. Okay. I love this person tied in your relationship with exactly what you're talking about. So true. We fall in love upon the curiosity of what they will be and will become. When we control one another, there's no longer a curiosity about one another's becoming. Connection from question has been the greatest gift for me. And running bars is a yummy new way of being together with others. That is beautiful. Beautiful. Ooh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Facebook user. We don't see your name. Thank you, Facebook yes. user. <laughs> yes. StreamYard is honoring your privacy, Facebook user. <laughs> Should be called poetic Facebook user. Yeah. Beautiful poetic Facebook user. BPFU for short, <laughs> just in case. And really that, you know, this is this what it also does if we can speak to it is it opens up spaces that don't really commonly exist for most people. They are available to our being, but until you experience it, until you actually get that gift of gifting to somebody without without conclusion, without projection, without expectation, without a judgment or you of them, just here, I wonder what this will create. Here you go. Yeah. Man, and the space. And so all of access and, and bars dynamically, it opens up this space. You know that, that space of that contribution, that space of that being that gift and receiving the gift, that space of yumminess is actually available. Now, you may not get to choose it yet, or you may not choose to choose it yet every moment of your life, because you have a life that you considered real before you got your bars run or run somebody else's, but you know it's there and you can't ever forget it. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, there's a lot of gratitude for you talking about that. And I, you know, we, one of the things you talk about a lot is recognizing your gift. And that's one of the most beautiful ways I've heard you describe it. And I've, you know, when we were doing those interviews with people too about the bar, so many people said, I had no idea I could be a gift to someone else. And, uh, and you know, a lot of them took a bar class thinking, what if, why would I learn this? How could I do this? How could I be a gift? And it just is when you're running someone's bars. Yeah. And, and I want to, uh, some other people have put this in the chat as we've been talking, but um, one of the reasons we're having this beautiful conversation about bars and what's possible is because this this weekend on Saturday is the ninth annual Global Access Bars Day. Yay! Yay! Where we take a whole day to celebrate the gift of access bars and people around the world, like tens of thousands, run bars at this, you know all over the world. It creates a massive shift in the planet from what I've seen the years <laughs> the years I've, I have uh, been around and I. There are people around the world. So we have almost, there have been 600,000 people who have taken a bar class, which is amazing. Wow. You take a bar class. It's a one day class. You learn to be a practitioner in one day, learn how to gift it. You receive sessions. But on this day too, a lot of the, and there's facilitators that teach the bar class. We have almost 9,000, a lot of which are having free events on this day, on Saturday. So we'll be live streaming. You're going to be on the live stream. If you go to this website, you can find out more. <laughs> but there's a lot of people around the world running bars for free and offering sessions. So if you go to that website, there's a section where you can search a local event and find someone near you so that if you haven't experienced bars or you have and you would like your bars run or want to you know, hang out with some 
people that are interesting, you can go there and, and find a local event near you or join us for the live stream that day because it's all free. Yes, and we're premiering my new online TV show. Yes, we are. Well, this now the time. And the answer is yes, now's the fucking time. I mean, the friggin' time. The, now's the darn time. And um, I'm very excited. We'll yeah. say so one of when Dana's on with us live that day, you're on a couple times, but um, you've just recently filmed a TV series with iconic media is now the time. And we're like the first two episodes of the TV show are premiering during Global Bars Day. So it's gonna be live streamed <laughs> on access you on that on globalaccessbarsday.com and iconic media on their YouTube. And it's the whole first two episodes. And then we get to ask you questions about them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be awesome. And that starts at noon Houston time. And Global Bars Day starts at 10, right? Yes. 10 yes. to 8 p.m. Awesome. There's going to be people running bars in Alabama, all over the world. Alabama. If they're running in Alabama, they can run them anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Castle, all these people are saying where they're going to be. Brazil. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. But um, so I just wanted to say thank you. I know for taking time like to chat today ahead of that and um, invite everyone to come on that live to experience bars, to take a class if you're interested too, with one of the thousands of facilitators offering it. Someone earlier asked, like, can you learn online? Um, there are there are classes we call online bars instruction. You still need a partner because you need to learn how to run bars, but that's a little different than an in-person class. Um, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't count to make you a practitioner, et cetera. But if you just want to get a taste and you have no one near you, it's one way to experience it too. Yes. And it's great. And we, we do that because yeah, it doesn't, doesn't count to make you a practitioner or a bars facilitator. Yeah. Um, but we do that as because bars is also the prerequisite for uh, a really phenomenal class called foundation. But also we, we would like you to be able to get this in your hands. But yeah. before you can become a practitioner or a facilitator, we want you to have been in person with uh, people. So you can do this online learning and it will act as a prerequisite for a foundation class, which is great. And we really want you to be with people in person so you can uh, get the in-person experience of it with a facilitator. So um, I think I probably just confused people, but I just wanted to tell people why we do that and have that because we'd like this to be the gift for you that it actually is. Yeah. I, I love, so Leela's asking, what would it take to have more people around to trade bars with? Yeah, if you if you go to the website, you know, accessconsciousness.com forward slash bars, or access bars, you can search your country and and um, by state or region too, to find people near you. And if you don't find someone, that's a great question to ask, what would it take? Um, I was interviewing another beautiful video we're going to air on Global Bars Day with Anna who lives in Saudi Arabia. And she was saying before anyone, <laughs> she didn't know anyone in Saudi Arabia, this is years ago, who had heard of Access Bars, but she was asking for someone to show up. And she said she was in line at a coffee shop and there was a stewardess who flew, <laughs> flew into Saudi Arabia once a month and was talking about bars in front of her. And so then they met and started to trade bars. So she created a stewardess <laughs> flying into her country to run bars. So I think anything's possible. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. <laughs> totally. Thank you, Dr. Yeah. Dean. And thank you everyone for being on. And if, if you guys have questions about anything, I think you did a very good job explaining online bars and oh, in-person bars. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> but if you guys ever have a question, uh, Access Consciousness, we have an amazing customer service team that like takes your emails and questions. You just go to customer service at accessconsciousness.com or ask on Facebook. But sometimes, you know, in threads, we don't see it, but you can message the page and things like that too. Yes. Yes. So there. Thank so, you, Miss Emily. And I would like to thank you all for watching and also being interested in a different possibility. And for those of you that have done bars and you kind of are like, goodness, I would like the world to have this. Um, just know we are doing everything we can because we would like the world to have this too. And just ask, what can I be that will allow this to, to be present in the entire world? And 
see what shows up. Thank you, Dr. Dane. Thank you everyone for being on. Head to the website. If you have any questions, join us. See you Saturday. <laughs> Bye. See you Saturday. Bye. -bye. <laughs>